So this is drawing two. Um, there'll be some rub, you know, some review from the the basic, you know, drawing class that we just finished. But um, this one we're going to kind of more explore um, composition and um, you know different ways to use our drawing materials and and work on that. Uh, so hopefully everybody uh, can hear me and everything's working well and we'll get going here. Um, the first thing I want to do is go over these this this uh, little sheet that I sent you with the different ideas about composition. Um, there's all kinds of different ways to compose images. Um, most of the time you just hear about the uh, you know the rule of thirds which is basically you you divide your picture area into a tic-tac-toe board like that and then you want interesting things or things that you want to draw attention to to fall on one of those lines or in these points okay um, that is the most simplistic way of composing an image and trying to get it to look somewhat interesting there is um, but sometimes you have images where say if you're doing like portraiture or um, you know, even if you're doing like an animal or something, you're still basically doing portraiture. And that whole system kind of starts to let you down because the subject needs to be more in the middle. And uh, so what we can do is we can start to use different design elements um, to kind of accentuate uh, our subject. So that's what we're going to do today with, with this. And we'll, we'll do several other different types of composition um, as we go through the, the course. But today we're going to work with um, using contrast. And so we'll have, I'll have you um, kind of work through some of these. We'll go over those individually. And then we're going to take, um, take this drawing, or no, I'm sorry, this the photograph, and we're going to do a drawing of it using one of these principles, okay? Okay, so the first one we want to work on is uh, the line and shape one. And these don't need to be fancy, these are just kind of figuring out how to do things. So um, what I want you to do is, however you need to start off a sketch, if you need to do the structure first, so, so if you need to do this kind of thing where you're just drawing some basic shapes here, to kind of rough that in, that's fine. We'll start with that. So we're just going to break this down into some basic shapes. But again, this this is not by any means a, a, a necessarily a finished or a fancy drawing. So we've got this basic shape of our stork here. Um, the legs can just kind of be like this. And like that. So then, what we want to do is we want to kind of start to to build the contour. And because we're really concerned more about line in this one and shape, we're just going to kind of suggest some of these things. We're not going to really get in here and um, detail this one out. So we just want to kind of do. something like this. So we want to start off with something kind of like that. Okay. We've got our basic sketch of it, 
and what we want to do now is we want to fill in the shape parts. So for these we're really just kind of thinking about um, just basically light and dark. We're not really worried about value um, or, or sh many shades of value at this point. We're just going for the light and dark. So we want to fill in like this area under its neck here. Um, if you look at the photo reference, that's kind of that, that pink color. Um, so we're really kind of going for contrast. And we can put a few of the spots on his head, the dark eye here. And there's a little bit of a dark area in his, his bill. And then this back portion here. So the idea um, with this is we're trying to break our image down into um, large areas of shapes. So we've got these big white shapes and we've got these big black shapes. Um, which we can use as compositional or design elements. And then we're going to work on line. We haven't really talked um, in a lot of my classes about line too much. Um, and, you know, shapes give you, you know, the form of the thing and it gives you, you know, a feeling of um, weight or um, sometimes even place. So we want to have something kind of like that. And I'm going to shade this back leg a little bit here too. Okay, we got it. All right, so We've got the big, you know, dark areas and light areas, but now we want to think about how we can, um, you know, kind of represent the feeling of movement and things with line. And one of the things we can do is we can come in and we can darken or widen some of the areas that fall into shadow. So like here, I'm, I'm darkening up these lines here on the shadow sides of some of these feathers. Um, I can do that on the leg here, like here, that could be in the shadow there, and then this part would be in shadow. Um, so the use of thick and thin line um, can change the appearance of things a lot too. So like this under here, this could be nice and dark. And you see how just darkening and thickening this line up has really made that feel like that beak is a lower portion. Okay. So this is one way we can use line and uh, shape very simply to create our composition. Okay. There's a lot of other ways, and we'll talk about those um, in other lessons, but this is the, really the most basic way to do that, where you're, it's, it's almost um, some design choices, too, as far as, you know, like, stylistically. Okay.